Hey there, I am Marok Said, a microbiologist and a science educator. Science is my passion and I'm here to share it with you. Parasitology topic on Protozoa, organelles for movement and modes of locomotion. But before starting this video, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's see our table of contents. First, we will have a brief introduction of protozoa, cladistic analysis of protozoa, locomotory organelles of protozoa, locomotion methods of protozoa, synthetic cilia and flagella biotechnological application, and lastly conclusion. Let's start with a brief introduction of our today's topic. Protozoa Single-celled eukaryotic microorganisms inhabit a wide range of environments on our planet, from freshwater ponds to marine ecosystems, and even within soil and animal digestive systems. These microorganisms are renowned for their diverse morphology, physiology, behavior, and ecological roles. Among the intriguing aspects of protozoa, one of the most captive among the intriguing aspects of protozoa, one of the most captivating is their means of movement characterized by specialized organelles and various methods. This video dives into the world of protozoa, providing comprehensive insight into their locomotory organelles and diverse locomotion techniques. The discussion encompasses definition, significance, and a thorough catalytic analysis. So let's learn what is protozoa. Protozoa, solitary eukaryotic microorganisms, inhabit diverse environments worldwide. Their classification is based on locomotory organelles, movement patterns, morphology, and ecological roles. Protozoa exhibit diameters ranging from 1 to 100 micrometers, with some larger species extending several millimeters. Reproduction in protozoa can occur through asexual and sexual means and they develop complex structures like cysts or biofilms for survival in harsh conditions. The significance of protozoa in ecosystems cannot be overstated. They serve as essential primary producers, consumers and decomposers. Protozoa form the bedrock of aquatic food chains nourishing larger organisms like fish and plectons. In soil ecosystems, they play a pivotal role in nutrient recycling and the decomposition of organic matter. Notably, certain protozoa are substantial pathogens for humans and animals, causing diseases such as malaria, sleeping sickness, and giardiasis. Cladistic Analysis of Protozoa Cladistic analysis is an evolutionary biology technique employed to categorize organisms based on their genetic and evolutionary connections. Through cladistic analysis, numerous captivating insights into the evolution and diversity of protozoa have been involved. Within various flagellated protozoa groups, such as euglenoids and dinoflagellates, Distinctive features like chloroplast and bioluminescence have emerged over time. Complex behavioral and communication systems have evolved in organisms like ciliates and amoebas. Protozoa employ a range of locomotion strategies that adapt to their environment and lifestyle. Some protozoa classified as sessile remain stationary and depend on water currents or other organisms for sustenance and resources. Others lead a free living existence, navigating their surroundings with specialized locomotory organelles. Certain protozoa take on a parasitic role, infiltrating and moving within their host organisms, utilizing their locomotory organelles. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Next, locomotory organelles of protozoa. Protozoa possesses various types of locomotory organelles, including cilia, flagella, pseudopodia, and undulating membranes. Let's start with cilia and flagella. 
Cilia and flagella are slender, hair-like structures extending from the cell surface, facilitating cell movement through rhythmic waving. Many protozoa rely on these locomotory organelles, with cilia being shorter and more abundant in ciliated protozoa like paramecium and stentor. Notably, certain parasitic protozoa such as the human respiratory parasite Balantidium coli also feature cilia. Flagella, on the other hand, are lengthier and less numerous, commonly found in flagellated protozoa like Euglena and Trepanosoma. Flagella can also be observed in some free living and parasitic bacteria as well as in animal sperm cells. Next comes Pseudopodia. Pseudopodia refers to extensions of the cell membrane that a cell can extend in various directions, facilitating crawling or prey engulfment. Several protozoa employ pseudopodia, often referred to as false feet, for their locomotion. These cell membrane extensions, known as pseudopodia, enable amoebas, for instance, to both move and feed. Parasitic protozoa such as Interamoeba histolytica also utilize pseudopodia as a means to invade host tissues. Lastly, undulating membranes. Undulating membranes are distinctive structures present in certain flagellated protozoa, enabling self-movement through undulation. Protozoa like Trichomonas vaginalis feature undulating membranes, which are specialized type of flagellum. These undulating membranes take on a flat, ribbon-like form, propelling the cell by undulating motion. Functioning akin to a wave, the undulating membrane facilitates efficient cell movement, particularly through thick substances like mucus. Next, locomotion methods of protozoa. Protozoa, single-celled microorganisms, renowned for their diverse trade in morphology, physiology, behavior and ecology often are captivating study in their locomotory organelles and the varied locomotion techniques they employ. Protozoa adopt their locomotion strategies based on their surroundings and lifestyle. These microorganisms feature four primary types of locomotory organelles. Cilia, flagella, pseudopodia and undulating membranes. The choice of locomotion employed by protozoans depend on several factors, including its environment, the presence of obstacle, its size, and the nature of the substrate. For instance, cilia are effective for aquatic movement, but less on solid surfaces. Pseudopodia excel at crawling on solid surfaces, whereas flagella prove valuable in navigating liquid environments. Understanding the locomotory organelles and methods employed by protozoa holds significant importance for several reasons. It is crucial, for instance, in comprehending the ecological roles played by protozoa in aquatic and soil ecosystems. Furthermore, it is pivotal in elucidating the pathogenic mechanism of protozoan parasites and diversing control strategies. Some antiparasitic medications target protozoa locomotory organelles like flagella and cilia to prevent parasites from invading and moving within their hosts. Kindly show your support by subscribing. Synthetic cilia and flagella Biotechnological application Research on protozoan locomotion has had a profound impact on the advancement in micro and nano robots featuring artificial cilia and flagella. These innovative robots hold promise for targeted drug delivery, microsurgery, and various biomedical uses. Designing artificial cilia and flagella presents challenges, as they must replicate the intricate movements seen in their natural counterparts involving bending and twisting. Recent progress in micro and nanotechnology, however, has facilitated the creation of synthetic cilia and flagella capable of mimicking the movement exhibited by natural counterparts. Additionally, protozoa have been extensively explored for their potential biotechnological applications. Certain protozoa species have been found to produce industrially 
valuable enzymes like cellulases and proteases. Moreover, some protozoa have garnered attention for their potential role in biofuel production, owing to their ability to generate substantial quantity of hydrogen gas. The research into the protozoan locomotion not only opens the door to novel biotechnological possibilities, but also serves as wellspring of inspiration for the development of new technologies. One of the method is drug delivery. Protozoa, characterized by their diverse locomotory organelles and methods of movement, offer a captivating avenue of research. This exploration has not only unveiled insights into their evolutionary relationships and diversity, but also holds great promise across various domains including medicine, biotechnology and robotics. Protozoa's pivotal role in ecosystems underscores the significance of comprehending their locomotory organism and mode of movement, enabling a better grasp of their ecological contribution and formulation of effective control measures. The realm of biotechnology and robotics have witnessed remarkable advancements, thanks to protozoan locomotion research, opening doors to innovation and discovery. This understanding of protozoan locomotion serves as a counterstone for the development of antiparasitic drugs, strategically targeting protozoa locomotory organisms like flagella and cilia. Furthermore, protozoan locomotion research has spurred the creation of micro and nano robots equipped with synthetic cilia and flagella. These innovations hold potential in targeted drug delivery, microsurgery, and various biomedical applications. In a sense, diving into the intricacies of protozoan locomotion is not only pivotal for unraveling their ecological roles in aquatic and terrestrial environments, but also for propelling advancement in biotechnology and inspiring the genesis of cut-edge technologies. To conclude this, it's essential to acknowledge that the classification of protozoa has evolved significantly over time. Initial taxonomic approaches relied heavily on morphology, but the emergence of molecular techniques have paved the way for more precise phylogenies based on genetic data. Present-day molecular phylogenetic analysis have challenged the traditional categorization of protozoa into four groups. Sarcordina, Mastigopora, Ciliata, and Sporozoa, revealing a far richer diversity than previously envisaged. In a revised classification scheme, six supergroups named Excavata, Chromavilota, Rizaria, Archive, Plastida, Amobazoa, and Opistoconta have been proposed. Each supergroup encompasses various subgroups, each distinguished by unique morphology, behavior, and ecological niche. This reclassification has led to an identification of numerous new protozoa species and genera, shedding light on the evolutionary interconnections among different eukaryotic groups. In summary, Protozoa represent a captivating and diverse streams of microorganisms characterized by distinctive locomotory organelles and methods of movement. Unraveling the locomotion mechanism holds pivotal significance not only for a deeper comprehension of their ecological roles, pathogenicity and biological amplification, but also for gaining insight into the eukaryotic evolution and the intricate interactions within the broader spectrum of organisms. As technology and techniques continue to advance, we can anticipate further revelations about these intricate and captivating microorganisms in the future. So thank you so much for watching till the end. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, press the bell icon button so you don't miss any of my videos and like this video. Thank you so much.